Well, my interest is in genetics, so looking at common variants, genetic variants in the population that everybody has, and how they affect risk of developing disease in later life as adults. So having a particular variant doesn't mean that you will definitely get the disease, but it may increase your risk by quite a lot. And knowing that in advance may lead you to change your lifestyle to try and lower your risk that way. Um, another reason for wanting to know how these common variants affect you once you develop a disease is um, tailoring treatment to you as an individual. Um, every person is different and even lots of patients with the same disease may have varying severity of that disease and may also respond to treatment in different ways. And part of that um, spectrum in disease severity and also response to treatment is determined by our genetics that I'm particularly interested in are uh, uveitis, which is inflammation inside the eye, which can be caused by infection, but in half known cases, it's caused by an autoimmune type process where your body's reacting against itself, causing a severe inflammation leading to scarring within the eye and vision loss. Another area that I've looked at in the past is age-related macular degeneration, which is the most common cause of vision loss in the UK, in the elderly population. And there are certain genetic variants that really do increase your risk of getting age-related macular degeneration in later life. So it's important to know that, so that, as I mentioned earlier, you can adapt your lifestyle by not smoking, eating the right things, checking your blood pressure, preventing um, too much sunlight exposure to reduce your risk of getting AMD. In more recent years, I have gone on to look at genetic mutations that inevitably lead to disease um, in children, so inherited causes of blindness. And this is an exciting area of research because of new developments in gene therapy and also stem cell replacement therapies. Genetic research has expanded exponentially since the Human Genome Project, um, which was only completed at the beginning of this century. And that has had a fundamental impact on genetic research worldwide. It's just allowed us to ask different questions, ask more questions, um, compare how humans are different to other species. The National Eye Research Centre has funded all my research um, looking at uveitis and also uh, another study looking at patients with age-related macular degeneration and determining um, which genetic variants increase risk of disease and also severity of disease. So I would say um, support from the National Eye Research Centre has been fundamental to that particular area of research. Eye research is, is quite a small area of research compared to um, cancer research or cardiovascular research or even dementia research. Um, so without uh, specialist charities that are supporting eye research, it would be very difficult to perform the research. Without the funding, the research just wouldn't be done. Probably of all the senses, vision loss has the greatest impact on uh, patient lifestyle because it affects your employment, it affects your ability to drive, it can affect your um, ability to socially communicate with other people, um, to read, and all sorts of things. Because as humans, we are actually visual beings. So to lose that has a massive impact. Mm -hmm.